Howdy, it's John here with Video Trail Reports. We have come up today to hike Bell's Canyon. This is a canyon located in Sandy, Utah, in the Salt Lake Valley. We're here on Cottonwood Road, Little Cottonwood Road, and this is a very popular hike here, so we should see lots of people on the trail. And uh, some of the details about it, it's just shy of a five mile hike if you go all the way up to the end. There's a little reservoir up there, some waterfalls, things like that. Um, very popular, beautiful place. So uh, here's what we've got as far as amenities. As you can see, there's uh, a parking lot. This goes back over beyond over there as well. Uh, the parking lot's quite full. When I got here at about 8.20 this morning, there was no space, so I'm parked out on the street. <clears throat> Make sure you arrive early if you want to get in the parking lot. Restrooms are available, vault toilets. We also have a well-working water fountain, trash receptacles, everything like that. Here's our signage. This is a watershed area, so no dogs, animals are allowed, no camping, things like that. And several restrictions. Without further ado, let's get on it. The Bells Canyon Trail starts out fairly narrow, with dense vegetation on either side, full of wildflowers, trees, and all kinds of life. Due to these qualities of the trail, as well as the switchbacks and its popularity, you're likely to find that you'll bunch up with people very early on. So be prepared, be polite, as you'll likely be behind people. If you find that people are catching up to you, go ahead and take a break. Usually people will pass quickly and the time spent stopped won't be long. If you're in behind, take an opportunity when it presents itself, as long as you're not being rude or pushing past other people. As the boulder trailhead climbs out of the Salt Lake Valley, the first quarter mile will feature several switchbacks. And more switchbacks. And more switchbacks. Once you reach the top switchback, get a good view of the valley, the trail will flatten out a bit and meander over the top of a ridge. After crossing over the ridge, you'll dip back down. This will provide a great panoramic view of the valley if you take the time to look over your right shoulder. The trail will steadily continue onward and upward for a short while, until at about three quarters of a mile into your hike, you'll crest over the top of a hill and come into view of the lower Bells Canyon Reservoir. If this is all you can muster, or all you have time for, it's well worth the hike. Fishing is allowed at this lake, but because it is a watershed area, only using artificial lures and catch and release only. There are several benches located around the reservoir. These can be a great place to spend the day, or a place to stop if you're on your way up. If you're continuing up to the lower falls, follow the left fork.
Many of these very wide trails are used for service roads for the reservoirs. Keep an eye out while going up, as there's small signs indicating where you'll need to turn left to go off to the lower falls. Not too long after the fork for the lower falls, you'll really begin to enter Bell's Canyon. This area provides a beautiful 360 degree view. As you get closer to the canyon walls, the vegetation will become much thicker and start including trees. The trail will be fairly straight at this point with a steady incline as you're still approaching the canyon walls. Gradually, as you climb up the canyon, you'll notice the rocks become larger and more common. At about a mile and a quarter in, the trail will come up alongside and cross over the stream. This provides another great place to stop and take a break as the air is usually cool from the water. At this area you will cross the stream and continue the hike from the south side of it. Immediately after the bridge, keep left. A while after the bridge, there's a false trail off to the left. Don't go this way, and if you're ever confused, ask the people that are on the trail with you like my uh, companions behind me did. I think I have heard that. <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Although there are a few places to get off trail, you usually can't go very far, and the trail is very well marked with signs along the way. There are also several places further along where the trail comes right alongside the streams. These areas are very cool and make for a great place to stop and rest. If you do stop here, and with small children, please be aware that the water is moving quite fast and can be dangerous if left unattended. If you can go the extra distance before a break, I'd recommend going up to the spot just beyond this. It's not too far, 
and provides a very great place to stop and rest on a rock. After a break by the streams, we'll continue up. For a brief while, the trees will open, providing a 360 degree view of the canyon that you've now entered. Although the trail will remain rocky for the remainder of the hike, for a brief while you'll enter a dense forest where the trail is fairly level and the dirt soft. After this, the trail will become much more rocky and much steeper. This is where the work will really begin. Don't be surprised if you or your fellow hikers need a break at this spot. It's very steep and very rocky. This will also lead to lines that form in this area. Particularly when I was coming down, I was very frequently stopped so that people could continue past me. Hi. When you reach the small stream that crosses over the trail, you're very near to the end. Just a short climb over this hill, back down, and you'll very soon see the waterfall. Pay attention through this area as there's a small trail that goes off to the left that I would suggest you follow. I continued off this way and followed some people in front of me, which ended up with me being on a steep face, very wet and muddy, and very slippery, while I had a difficult time getting down. There are many excellent places to view the falls and the canyons around you. Take your time and find a secluded spot and enjoy the scenery. Be cautious by the water's edge. The water here is very fast and the bed very rocky. If you were to go in, it would likely not end well.
Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more video trail reports. If you have any hikes that you'd like to see on video trail reports, please suggest them in the comments. We're also available on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, and at videotrailreports.com. Thank you.